research has indicated that having students track and graph their individual data can have a positive effect on learning outcomes. So the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to the resources folder within the Google Sheets section of the resource guide. So that's right here. Go to Google Sheets and then resources. And in the folder student self tracking, there are a few student tracker templates. The first one I want to show you is the student progress chart template. And this is basically just a tracker sheet for students to input their own grades or scores for each subject. So for instance here I've input some titles into the language arts page. In the test column I've just put the title of the tests and then in the score column I've input the scores and when you do this it graphs them into the chart. So let's put another one in here. You'll see it'll put it onto the map and then when I give it a score it will give it a Y value. So let's say they made an 87 on this one. And uh, with this, the students can just keep up with their own grades and kind of check in with where they're at. It also shows students their average at the bottom. I've just created a, a formula for that. And so you can see here that this student is averaging a 92.5 on their test. Pretty good scores. So you can do this with all of their subjects. We have um, a tab for each of the subjects, math, science, social studies, spelling, if you want to create more tabs you can just duplicate the ones that already exist and then change the name to correspond. Another student tracker that I've made is very similar to this one but I've just kind of changed it around to be a reading log tracker. Uh, we have in our school uh, we encourage the students to read X amount of minutes per night and it kind of goes up as they advance in grades and so this is just a way to keep students thinking about how often and how frequently they're reading so this one works pretty much the same as the first tracker, but it is made just to track the minutes that they read each night. So the kids can put the date in here and then the minutes they read. And at the bottom, it will give them their average total reading time. So if you run out of room for this, say you want to do it month to month and do a reading tracker for each month, all you need to do is go in here down to the bottom and just click on the black arrow and select Duplicate. and it'll make an exact copy of the worksheet that you have going. So then what you can do is just delete this and you're starting fresh with a brand new reading log. If you come up with any other ways to track student progress effectively with Google Sheets, please send them on to me and I'll include them in this resource guide. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. I'll do my best to respond to all of them. Thanks and have a good day.